It was actually hard because we didn't film any of the earlier festivals except one year, which was the 2009 festival, which was the footage of Ira Glass. But prior to that, we never filmed it because we wanted it to be a pretty loose thing for the comedians. Um, we were just trying to pull off the festival every year, so we also just weren't really organized enough to film it. But we did. We reached out to a couple of our comedian friends and, and asked them to sort of pull out their old... Uh, I think Kristen Schaal literally sent us a box of DV tapes and we went through, digitized them, looked through and, and pulled footage from there. That part was actually kind of a challenge because there, not a lot of people had video on their phones uh, and we didn't do a good job documenting the earlier days. <laughs> Well, I think in general, there's now so many outlets. You know, I think before, like, I mean, in general, in comedy, I think before you had to figure out how to, like, maybe be presented on one of the, like, four TV channels. And then and now there's just, like, endless avenues, which is probably in some ways great for people uh, because you you can be your own thing that, that, that makes something and you know, uh, as well as hard because there's so much out in the world. In a very short period of time, like Zach Galifianakis, Louis C.K., Dimitri, Aziz, Kristen, Berbiglia, like everybody. It just sort of like all, my, Nick Kroll, John Mulaney, like just all of a sudden, like every single person, all, you, you, you know, even Eugene with Bob's Burgers, and it's like all of a sudden we were like employable. It was like, <laughs> it was like we went from being a group of, of, a large group of people that like, as you said, had this tiny little narrow window of ways to like get work to all of a sudden being like sought out for, for it. And, and, and like that happened, seemed to happen like very, in a very big way in a fairly short amount of time. Right, I remember someone in 2000 saying, I did like a festival and someone being like, you're very funny, but I have no idea what to do with you. And that was like a thing that people would say to other people. Uh, that they, or like that Reggie, they thought made sense. Reggie Watts, who is sort of like this, you know, same kind of thing. Like he's so brilliant, but like he's like, Edinburgh, you know, like go take him to Edinburgh, but you know, and then all of a sudden he's like everywhere. And it just, it was interesting. And Tig too, I, I'm thinking back to our poster of the first year of the festival and all of those names that were on it from what now, 12 years ago, they are all, you know, they've either had their own TV shows and, and are definitely more mainstream. But yeah, Tig yeah. was another person that popped into my brain. Yeah. Chelsea Peretti, Hannibal even, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody, everybody. Pete, Pete Holmes. Yep. Kamal, Kamal. Yeah. I can't yeah. believe we're forgetting Kamal. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> One of the fun things about the movie, and I think, is like you kind of go down a rabbit hole as you start to like look at these people and their careers, and the and th that are all kind of aggregated in the festival, is that is this crazy, like maze of connection that could t that kind of takes you back through all these projects and you could map it through m not just the 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 success of it but also through the media ch the change in the technology truly from D diy sort of home videos when we were started doing stella um when we would make videos you had to we had to screen them on a screen we had to project them onto a screen so it's like the media and then like, you know, Eugene wrote, was, wrote books, a lot of these people write books, a lot of these people make, make, let, go back and make comedy records and stuff like that. So there's like, it, it, it's a group of people that like working in all sorts of different ways. Yeah, I definitely think it captured a moment in time. Um, I think, you know, I think there were so many other comedians that were a part of our world and, um, and New York comedy that uh, that we couldn't even include. So I, I think it I think it definitely captured the spirit. I think your way of describing it, especially if we use it as a quote on a poster, sounds nice. But I also <laughs> feel like the festival itself was kind of a love letter to the alternative comedy scene. The festival itself was just a celebration of friends. Um, it was it was just a safe space. So in that sense, it honors the festival itself. That's a better answer. <laughs> yeah. I think everyone was very excited to share their story of how Eugene is sort of the glue within that comedy community. Um, 
yeah, there were even more comedians that wanted to share stories, and it ended up just being purely a logistical thing um, as to why we couldn't include more people. But uh, yeah, everyone was very excited to uh, to talk about how Eugene supported them over the years and um, sort of how how the festival uh, was. Uh, I think Michael said it in a good way. It was a little bit of the Super Bowl of that sort of comedy world. 